This is Mark Wu from eeprogrammer.com. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, how to use MATLAB to calculate the power spectrum. I assume my data have the sampling rate is equal to 1,000 hertz. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm create a virtual data. A 10 second virtual data. I will combine two data, data set into one data set. So the first data set is going to set to be 50 hertz. The second data set is going to set to 100 hertz. By adding those two together, I will have a signal. The power should be at 50 hertz and 100 hertz. Here is the result of the add up of those two signals. Now I start to analysis the power spectrum using fast forward transform. The first thing is I'm going to find out what is the length of the data. And I need to find out a number. It's a 2 to the n number, which is just bigger than the length of my data set. Now I create a an error example. The fast rate transform is just FFT the data. That is an error example. You can see why I'm saying this is an error example. In a second. The power spectrum frequency is not a 50 or a 100. So what was the problem? Fast wave transform can take more than one input. The second input is trying to see how long you want to do the fast wave transform. What is the length of the data? That, well, if you have a data, have a thousand sample point. Two to the end will give you a thousand and twenty four point. That means there is twenty four pattern zero adding to there. And now you can see uh, the result is lining up at fifty and a hundred hertz. 